Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. If you're watching this on the More Ant channel, thank you for clicking in. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uploads as of recently. Today, I have another variety game to present to you, and this one isn't exactly horror. I know you guys love the horror games. The Mortuary Assistant, if you watched that one, did quite well, so I'm assuming you guys enjoy my horror reactions. But this one is more of a, it's more of a mind trip. It's more of a game that tells a story. A few months ago, I played the game called The Stanley Parable, and although I never exactly made it into a video, The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version is actually out. Uh, it's been out for a few months, actually, and I've been wanting to play it, and it looks like there's a bunch of brand new content within it for us to explore. So if you've ever seen anything of the Stanley Parable, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And if you haven't, uh, you know, played the Stanley Parable before, I think it should be still fine because this technically is a brand new game, but yeah, Stanley Parable, incredible, incredible game. And I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. So if you enjoy the video, please consider liking it subscribing and joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen to watch things live. And without further ado, shall we hop into the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe version? Have you played the Stanley Parable before? I actually have played the Stanley Parable before. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Okay, you know what we're going, we're going with here. Enter the current time. Am I about to dox my time zone? What the heck? It is currently. Nice. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Mm, seven employee off. number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Very Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Forever change? Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting or even say hi they died never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation something was very clearly wrong shocked frozen solid Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time but as he came to his wits and regained his senses he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office Oh yeah, me. Uh, yes, this is this is this is where I <laughs> this is this is where I come in. Okay. Wow, this is our desk. This is where we've been working for years. This sounds like such a sad lifestyle. This is the corporate life. Is this what you want? Can I jump? I can't jump. Also, I can walk through this chair for some. Okay. Yes, there's an achievement that says you can't jump. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. <gasps> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The meeting room. I like one. I like work. I just hate my boss. Interesting. Oh, oops. Sorry. Hope that was important. Who far? Okay, that's nice. Why does everyone have this mug? <laughs> Is this like a company slogan or something? Oh my lord. Oh, what is this? I hate Mondays. Me too, man. Wait, did I miss it? 420? Oh my god, where's 420? 
Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Okay, thank you, narrator. A little passive-aggressive. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I remember this. Do we enter the door on the left, or do we enter the door on the right? Hmm. This door is on my left, technically. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Just want to stop by the employee lounge. We want to admire this. Ah, yes, wow. truly a room worth admiring. What a beautiful room. It had really room. been worth the detour after all. I agree. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Dad? Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Oh, what does this, what does this cup say? My... Be my valentine. Oh my god. I'm moving yes. a little too fast. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Coffee nut. The room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really I'm worth actually it. looking at the cups, but okay. Don't rush me. I'm taking my time. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. <laughs> okay. It reflected poorly on his overall. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But okay. at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, chair. Whoa. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <gasps> oh, this is a two way door. That's crazy. You know how hard it is to make these? Wait, it doesn't open the other way now. I'm confused. Wonder where this goes. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. What are they gonna do when I'm dead? How are they, how are they gonna charge me? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Yeet? But in his eagerness to prove okay. that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Okay, so... Good job, Stanley. <clears throat> Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay, so I guess that's still a thing in the game. I need to find out what's Stanley out there. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. No death this Look, time. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in oh, someone else can be difficult, up. but the fact is going that the up. story has been about Wait, nothing where am but I going? you all this time. There's oh. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. I forgot Please, about. stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. She has? But I play Genshin Impact. There's no way. Oh, black room. What could this mean? Oh. <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, uh -huh. filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life oh, reunited. Can I, can one I plug this back in? <laughs> oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually... I mean, there's a cord. incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two... A wife? ...to one another. 
Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Can I plug it back in? decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe Whoa. it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. He knows. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. He knows. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And They're on to us. I've letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can huh? educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. What? Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world. Is that a grasshopper? Oh. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself <laughs> speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more eight? than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your That's choices, choices. Are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, a lot to just take remember in. that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah. Welcome back. What the? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But why but forklifts? Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct <laughs> thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh. Forklifts. I'm stuck. Oh wow. Can't even jump off now that anymore. We know your choices are meaningful. We <laughs> can't have you jumping off the platform and die. Watch Imagine me. the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. I'll find a way. It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Oh, come on. There's a... I can fit. Okay, you know, it's fine. So where am I supposed to go? Oh, we're going back. Wait, we're going back? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. And I'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. As Stanley that means would. means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? 
No! Why did you do that? <laughs> oh my Quickly, God. hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. We're not too late. Wait, what is this? What the heck is going on here? Dude, do you see this? Are these open? Can I go this way? Nope. Are we too late? Oh. Oh. It's ruined. Oh. You, I can't believe after <laughs> everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work! Financial Why? panic what? meeting. What did Same. you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. I hate Mondays. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? <laughs> to willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I Push for funding no, for R&D of I new coffee machine. I have to. I have to. Um. What? Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. You did that yourself, man. It was the man. only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? I am he Stanley. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He <laughs> understands that if I say to do okay. something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh... My story... The story's not very good, I'm gonna be if honest. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I kind of want to see this underground facility. Where is this underground facility? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office hoping he might find an answer there. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Reflect. <laughs> Reflect. Oh my god. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. I, I can. I can confirm. Room closet. Coming What's to this? the staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. His boss's office? Oh, whoa. Is this a bathroom? Mm hmm? Oh, they don't have a mug here. That's crazy. I'm sorry, I'm looking for the chests, okay? I play Genshin Stepping Impact. inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely He's behind painting. this door lay all Panda? the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. <gasps> Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was oh. only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, 
but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. These nuts. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. In your mouth. I'm sorry, is there a problem? <laughs> you didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. Do this I actually have to speak the code? Step. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine. Ah! You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, <laughs> only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you it for doesn't this work. It's not respect, my fault. I tried. I tried. His choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't I tried. I have to show you, then why did you come here? Because you, you told me there was an underground you facility. The right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. So Say something to me. Explain yourself, you He's coward. You it's not my fault! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <gasps> Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without Stanley you. won't listen to you anymore. The choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? I'm... Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. <laughs> he sounds so heartbroken. Right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. And I think that is the ending we got the very first time we played this game. But I want to see if we can get another ending now. I want to see if we can experience something new. So... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe we should follow the instructions this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And I guess I will go left this time. I'm great at following instructions. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting Feeling fired. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. This is the most important step here. What is this? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Are you sure there's nothing here? This looks pretty interesting to me. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. I could take the no broom. Reason to still be here. Hold up, hold up. I'm still looking. What if I took a wrench? This is a really big wrench. It's it like was baffling that Stanley was Okay, still give just me a minute. The broom give me a minute. He wasn't even doing anything. At least I'm if looking. there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some There's way. There's got to be something to inter- He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Okay. There's got to be something here, right? Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Give me a sec. Standing around doing nothing? Why? It's Please been like 30 seconds. Here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I'm looking for something to interact with. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, 
At least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Then why can I, I open it? To mention it? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> yes, I do like this ending. This is cozy. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <gasps> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about that. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> You're dead. You've got Come again? Explored it, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical <laughs> melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this <laughs> computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video <laughs> gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> that was a little uncalled for. I'm kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'll step out. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee sorry. you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I wonder what's down here. Oh wow, what is this? A piece of paper. Oh. Oh. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. I must, and I in might such be a fired. competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical times. sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Where are my feet? Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. What? He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't oh. crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still... Uh, what? Just happened? Was that supposed to happen? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Wait, I'm so Stanley confused. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm so confused. What was that? <laughs> I, I like fell off the map. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm so confused. What just happened? <laughs> okay, uh, I will follow instructions. I will follow Yet instructions. Not a single person I can follow either. instructions. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I can follow instructions. I know how to do that. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yes, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. <gasps> Executive bathroom? <gasps> I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. Oh. Okay, occupied. Oh, no reflection. Is this soap? Oh, it's not Aesop soap. They're not bougie like that. You know who does have Aesop soap, though? I have Aesop soap. Also, who in their right mind puts like a giant glass window next to the bathroom? Nobody wants to see you like sitting here and pooping with your pants down. Who wants to see that? Everyone can just look right in. There's not even like any blinds here. I just think the design of this place is rather untasteful. I'm gonna be honest here. I am disappointed. <clears throat> Anything else here? A computer. Okay, this is all the same. Two phones. Does this open? <gasps> what is this? An elevator? What does that say? Business strat... Interesting strategy. What is this? I could go up or I could go down. I want to go up. It works. The wallpaper here is kind of ugly. Why are there papers on the floor? I want to go up. Oh. Wait, is this an in infinite elevator ride? <laughs> uh. Uh. What the? This took me nowhere! Wait, what if we go down? Is this just the, an elevator simulator? <laughs> what? <laughs> is this just a simulation of an elevator? Bro, <laughs> it doesn't go any- <laughs> Okay. Onwards. I will follow instructions now. Stepping into his manager's oh, whoa, office, Stanley different. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. I see. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from you, little fishy in the sea. Was it the keypad behind the boss's desk? Guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so I went to the Studio Ghibli concert, Joe Hisaishi concert, a few days ago. It was really, really cool. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Sorry, could you repeat that? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I'm gonna need Trying to, to repeat that. Trying to anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. What combination? Oh. 2845. Yet incredibly, yeah. by pushing random buttons I did on that. the keypad, what, Stanley what happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This does not look like an office building at all. What's going on? Whoa. Down. Uh-oh. Was I supposed to do that? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit Up. peculiar. Down. It Up. was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, what the heck? This is not a safe elevator. What if I go back up? Oh. Whoops. Nope. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Went back up. Silly yeah. Me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's I'm different. a great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> okay, calm down there. I'm sensing a little hint of passive aggressiveness coming from you. Because there's a passageway over here. Okay, I guess not. Um, you, you know, it's because I didn't feel like going this way. In fact... But I... Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. 
exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. You're right. It's still just exactly what it is. What if I put the code the in again? you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. So I think I'm going to go down again. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> I, I wonder what he could be up here this time. Oh my god, guys, no way. You won't believe this? Oh my god. It's the boss's office. But with sound effects. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Uh, um, okay, he needs a little break. If you're watching this still, subscribe while the narrator loses his mind. And, you know, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, okay, oh, I'm back. ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. Uh, on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chan. Uh, you know, we like to play these games live. We like to, you know, have a good time here. And I think you should definitely consider joining us. Uh, other than that, I also have another channel that is called Anthony Clips. It's where I post all of my reactions. It's where I post all of my... All oh. right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before... I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Mm hmm Okay, I'm gonna go down the elevator this time. That's crazy, right? Of Boom. course. Going back down in the elevator. Mm -hmm. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Thank you. Okay, and I think this time we are going to... Oh, did you think I was going to get out? You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Oh. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to mm -hmm, guess, mm -hmm. that's the real thrill. I agree. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. Yes, It's so yes. precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? and slow. Uh. There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, mm -hmm, Stanley, mm -hmm. it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience? to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises, to have to think and to anticipate, and then to marvel at the eventual reveal? This is storytelling, Stanley. This, this is a long elevator ride. Right? Right this is the most exciting oh, let me off here. to be developed in years, and it's really all because of you. 
You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's Wait. why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. He's actually you're speaking. You know? People look up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind the of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh good, we're here. Um, this isn't the boss's office. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. I miss my elevator. Live on stage, all eyes on Stanley. Eesh, I'm a good looking dude. Oh, whoa. World's healthiest human being, all tricks revealed. How we did it, the pyramids. The guy who went to Mars. Interesting. Whoa, this is so bougie. Look at the red carpet and everything. World Peace Baby. Uh huh. Ah, yes. Here it is, just through this door. What's over here? The Stanley Parables Stanley. Tonight, live on stage. <laughs> what is this, like the Jimmy Fallon show? Q&A with the world's first sentient machine. Oh, whoa. Uh, this does, wow. Production costs must have dropped off right. a lot. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, <laughs> it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. 427, break a leg champ, your boss. Uh-huh. Interesting. Oh my god. Thank you guys. I love you all. Oh my god. Okay. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. It is a pretty bright office. <gasps> new content? Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? New content? Pause champ? Oh. Eh. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Eh. Whoa. Where are we going? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Am, am I on a amusement park ride? The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. 
Ooh. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Oh my god, not more elevators. <laughs> okay, so far it's an elevator. <laughs> not more elevators. Ahead, but I'm sure it's just the beginning more of a mesmerizing adventure. <gasps> this is a jail cell. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, Oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Uh-huh. New, new content. Yay. Mm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. <laughs> it's as if them... <laughs> oh, okay. Let's oh. see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Content. All right, all right, let's see, it's the jump circle. <gasps> you can jump! Oh my God, I've been waiting for this content for my entire life. I can jump now. Oh my God, I can bee hop. How is it? Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Oh. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. There's Let's more? I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect this game for their was fans buy a cheap expansion to market <laughs> for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter. Oh no. Personally no, you don't want to go on Twitter. <sighs> it's my fault. You don't want to go on Twitter. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me. Having a great time together, like always. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. What do you together say? Together, as friend? always. Yeah, let's let's do that. Oh God! Wait, what? What? This is in my office. I don't remember this. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. In the vent. I want to show you something. In the vent. <laughs> uh. I mean, okay. I guess I'll go in the... How am I supposed to get down? Oh, you ever heard of fall damage? How are my knees still alive? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take Whoa. a look. What game am I playing now? <laughs> what the heck is- I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of mm -hmm. my life whenever I want. 
Mm -hmm. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess we can't get out. Man, we're actually stuck. Um. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. I was... Back then, it Thir all meant 12, 12. Oh, 13. Twist. Wait, what? 2013? I... What? No, I, I, I was... 11. I can count. Yay, whoa, art museum, wow. Is that it? A bench that I can't sit on, okay, that's cool. Is that a piano? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James okay. <laughs> Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives oh man, and then succeeds to, to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk <laughs> with an hour of new elevator. Are you still mad about that? <gasps> Memories on maintenance? Wait, let me in. Here's another moving passage, this time from oh GameSpot.com. Oh my god, stop this. <laughs> Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary <gasps> on the textures? nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Mm -hmm. It didn't need anything else. It didn't mm -hmm. need new content. Mm -hmm. It just needed to be left alone. Let me out. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Uh-huh. Oh, these were simpler times, <gasps> Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the what memory zone this? before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no, oh god no, Sam is a collection of reviews, reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> Not Steam. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Caution, sure, reviews were good Hi. as well, weren't they? Oh. <gasps> Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Oh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such <laughs> a weird web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Look at all these old reviews in crates. Steam reviews. This place, a, this place is a dump. Oh. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? <laughs> I'm not preachy, am I? No, sir. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. You're not preachy. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. 
I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. <laughs> he can't handle Perhaps criticism. The family parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Bro, I ain't even the one playing this game anymore. <laughs> And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. Huh? Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time. Frozen in minutes. time? There was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45... Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're... Oh, Stanley, you're back. Oh my god, it's getting back. dark. <laughs> Someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking <laughs> and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that. Huh? Oh. Hello, oh. it's oh. you. Oh my god, You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you. <laughs> How long has I've it been? <laughs> been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Uh, have you ever sat uh, down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. Mm -hmm. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time. Stand um. Today, Hello? Oh, the batteries need to be changed. And the clock is off the wall now. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness. Narrator? The end is never the end is never the end. Oh my god, he's lost it. End is never the end is never the end is never the end. He's lost it. End is never the end is never the end. He's lost it. End is never the end. He's gone crazy. The end is never the end is Hello? There's nowhere for even me to exit from. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Damn, what happened here? 
Oh my god. What's going on? Whoa. <gasps> Sunlight. Is that a way out? Oh my god. Plants are growing and stuff. The pipe has come down. Hey, maybe in a few more centuries we'll be able to go out of here. Oh, I lied. That was a mistake. Um, it looks like we're buried alive underground. All the plants are dead. Thankfully, the skip button still works. Eh? That doesn't sound too hot. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! <gasps> My skip button! My skip button! Is this the true meaning of life? What just happened? his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New new content. Oh good, you noticed my sign. Y yeah, yes, how could I, I, I miss that? I have something very exciting to show you. Uh, oh no, not again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, uh, huh? mm -hmm. you see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Mm -hmm. The original Stanley parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. I so see. forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. He's gone mad. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first He's time gone ever, mad. <laughs> the Stanley Parable <gasps> Oh! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory will come. Oh my god, the they got Max now! Sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This it's, it's is modern. what fans have truly been asking for. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you Whoa, think? Ultra Deluxe. MacBooks! What does it even mean? But the Stanley or Parable 2. Now that's Crows? an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Uh huh. Don't talk to me before I've had my sequel. Okay. Oh, Google Slides. I use that. That's a lot of different logos. <laughs> Now, to be clear, Glass doors. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's Taste take a the look sequel. at some of the features I've been developing for it. Uh -huh. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, <laughs> that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, 
Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Though I love those sequels. Yes. Mm hmm. I like trilogies. Half Life Three. New features. Is that a bus? Whoa. Whoa. Look how sleek. Look how Here modern. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Merch. Damn. I would wear that. Okay, maybe not that. Uh, that shirt looks pretty cool. Nice little graphic tee. Let's see. What is what is the new? What are the new features? Button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Pause champ. Pause champ. Hear your name in the game. Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That's new. Oh my god. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself. I must hear what my do players name. Really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game... Name, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Uh huh. Play along. I yeah. promise you'll love it. Okay, here yeah. we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. I am Jim. Watching your dreams crumble into dust. I am dust. Jim. Do you feel it deeply? I'm Are Jim. Are you really, truly Jim right now? My name is Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. <sighs> Jim. <laughs> Yes, you see what a thrill, what a rush. The it said my name. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal. I'm like validation. tearing up, just hearing my name. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. No! Otherwise, no! Jim, you'll start Jim, to lose all Jim, sense Jim, of who you actually Jim, are. Jim, Jim, Jim. My name. It's gone. I can't say they can't say my name. I'm crying. Do you guys see these tears? These are genuine tears. My name. My name button. It's gone. What do you mean, where? These are tears, okay? <clears throat> As I, I was saying. I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> only allow people who are called Jim to play. Oh. <gasps> the jump circle and the infinite hole. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a directory here. Where are we? Expo Hall 2 guide, jump circle. We are at five. Five is this map. Okay, thanks. Free achievement. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Free achievement. <gasps> you know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm, oh well. Wait, no, give me more. I suppose it can just be a nice yes. decorative no. piece then. Give me more. Give me a second chance. I want to jump again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do this to me. How hard is it to just implement a jump button into this game? <laughs> what is this? Infinite hole. It won't end. What is this? Please no screenshots. 
Okay, I'll be honest. Oh. I haven't yet decided on this one. Uh -oh. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Um... You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly. <laughs> but we all have to move on from our mistakes. I chose badly? You see how this blue just is abysmal with the whole theme of the office? What the? What is this? The hole that never ends. The infinite hole. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of graphs and stuff. That's that's a chart. Figure three. Where's figure one? Oh, hole entrance infinity. Infinite hole chart. More hole. Okay. Well. Stanley, <gasps> here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Actually, infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Like forever? Like it'll never end? Yeet! Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You see? Isn't we're we're falling. One of my more ingenious uh -huh. inventions, if I do say so. Now this then, sure is a since hole. Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole... You can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, the and what we now? can continue onward. <laughs> press G. This is kind of nice. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Oh yeah, we're falling. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You <laughs> found me up, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that Fall damage, you're mod check. fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? Why not? I figured the hole was as deep as New anyone mug. would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put I don't this have... behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, the mostly then go infinite ahead and hole. Press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole, and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great! Oh, well. I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, oh for heaven! You see, I was right. Uh oh. The problem is you. <laughs> The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I it couldn't did. help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Say I won't. I really do have so much more to I'll show. I'll do a flip this time. Talk about. And I would jump the hole for a lifetime. But you took away my jump option. So I guess I'll do a cartwheel. Gosh. 
How could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing we're... Oh. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. This is not an infinite yeah. hole. Let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my oh, life wow. has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing? Wait, to I can't. <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, oh, but no. at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Oh. Is the um teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It's still nothing. Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. But this, is, this isn't even a hole. <laughs> this, is like, <laughs> this is like a moderate dip in the ground. It's like a ditch. Uh-huh. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us building castles in the sky. Just the two. Uh, is it just me or is this hole getting deeper? Oh. <laughs> um. Huh. This is cool. It's just an- it's another elevator! <gasps> oh my god! What? What? That's crazy! What the hell's going on? I'm so confused. <laughs> Change yourself? You're awake. It seems you had sort what of the? <laughs> there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a second. I thought you left. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole? <laughs> oh, we're gonna be from stuck in here, things, aren't we? <laughs> you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. To the pit. Oh. 
Here we are. Go on. Oh, we're, we're back. <laughs> it says the button that says gym now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. We have, we, we, we visited the, uh, okay. Let's see. What did, what did we do so far? The button that says gym, jump circle, mostly infinite hole. Ooh, you know what I want to get? I want it. I want to check out the free new plus easy achievement. Mostly infinite hole. <laughs> Fine, it ended. <laughs> Wait, what if we go back here? Oh no, he locked it. <laughs> He's gatekeeping us from the hole. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Ooh, free easy achievement. Get it here. Get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your achievement. No more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Really? Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that <laughs> okay. will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Uh -huh, Gamers, yeah. we hear you. Up uproariously you demanding, you say. It, yep, it, it, it's broken. Okay. Okay, this was a lie. I've been lied to. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Oh, what's this? That's new. What's new? Y you can you find them? Collect them all. Oh, whoa. What is this? Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real oh, video. Where game. am I going? <laughs> Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's miniature truly what? innovative? is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. What do you say to me? Oh, it's gorgeous. That's a little creepy, though. Uh-huh. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Mm hmm. It was shiny. Let's see. We did the button. We did that's. Wait, that's new. What is that? You guys see that? It says that's new. Oh. What is this? Epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Huh? I'm so confused. What even is an epilogue? Where does it go? At the end of the story. Settings world champion. It's, it's closed. I can't be a settings world champion. Why not? All right, we've done everything on this side. I think the only thing left is the Stanley Parable 2 reassurance bucket. What's a reassurance bucket? What's so reassuring about this bucket? I, I'm not a believer. The common complaint oh, of the whoa. Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that mm -hmm. it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, if the I hold many this bucket... disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, 
The bucket. The bucket. The perfect solution. The bucket. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? Oh. A glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, it jiggles. can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Does it now? I think that just holding it has made you uh -huh. the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Has it? The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. This sure is a bucket. I guess I'll be taking this with me. It's a bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? Probably that not. It really should be an award if it isn't already. Yeah, it's a bucket. Anything else here? Jump circle. Free achievement. The button that says the name of the player that's playing the game, but it actually only says Jim. Merch. Settings world champion. The Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. Office deck. Wait, I want office decorations. I am here. Oh wait, we we went there. Epilogue, collectibles, infinite hole, exit. Hmm. I think we've I think we've seen pretty much most of it, right? I guess it's time to exit. Yeah, this is cool. I like I like these features. These features are cool. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yep. Ready to move on now? Yep. I'm taking my bucket with me. Oh, whoa. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, yeah. I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but mm -hmm. I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's uh -huh. definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. An experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Not really. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel uh, this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a I like the gags. button. It and says Jim. I do much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Oh. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. Uh -huh. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. Mm -hmm. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, Agreed. Maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly uh -huh. work? Mm, How would you do it. that? But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. A, a title screen? All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Yo. 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 This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a What the hell are those balloons? <laughs> where he was employee number 427. <laughs> employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Uh -huh. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. The 
as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed <laughs> up to balloons. give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. Wait, this where did the Max go? Isolation. All the all the innovation. Something was very clearly wrong. All the renovations. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I just want to say these balloons are All a terrible choice. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> Stanley picked up the bucket. <gasps> oh, the bucket. There, he's right. It makes everything Stanley better. Touched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Yes, sir. The bucket. It's amazing. Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps mm -hmm. his boss's mm -hmm. office was where he'd find answers. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy. It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. This is my bucket. I can feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. Don't give it. I know it. how hard it must be. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your. This is my bucket. And lifelong friend. My friend. You can't hand it over. I'm not handing it over. We're getting into name calling now. It seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, <gasps> that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your <gasps> life is so banal and meaningless okay, that you what? feel the same sort of kinship towards any <laughs> inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Yeah, um... Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Oh! There. Yo! Now, no more debate. Yo! No more Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes Yo! about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order. It's of ours time. now! Oh my god! It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked and the bucket. to the boss's office. Mm hmm. Executive bathroom. Because the boss no You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I, I, yeah. Um, I wonder if there's any more of these figurines down here. Perhaps at the floor level. <gasps> Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about 
Mini stands. The mini Stanley stands. Figs. Stanley oh, figs. What about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Uh huh. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing any more Stanlerines. He had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. There are he no Stanleyrines down here. Arms. Am I crazy? He asked. Am I bucket. crazy? The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Well, that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. <gasps> it's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically <gasps> grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, oh? gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly my mad. My bucket! Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance bucket. now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Stanley, it's me! The bucket! <gasps> I saw it! it truly be? I he saw it! forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Where's Come my bucket? Me, Stanley! Find me! <laughs> Who is this voice? The bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security what? and went to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Um, do I keep going? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what could it mean? <gasps> Where's the Stanley bucket? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> it has my name on it. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over him. This is my bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. All right. The door now we head. only follow instructions. There will be a reward for finding them all. Inside this a large room, a lot of boxes, stairs, somewhere both red and blue near a fireplace. We've got to collect them all now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Fireplace. 
I know where that is. I think there could be something in here. Maybe, maybe a figurine. Nope, okay. Fireplace. I know a fireplace. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again Where's stunned the figurine? to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Yep, the bucket. Even now, the bucket. in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. Yep, the bucket. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. Yeah. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by... Okay. <laughs> was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Where is the figurine? <gasps> okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, <laughs> and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. Figlies! What name better encapsulates Figlies. the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Figlies. Figlies. That is the most disgusting name I have ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> the elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. Oh yeah. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Mm -hmm. Bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, Very reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Yeah. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Th thank you. Everything will be fine. Oh. We're in Stanley uncharted. Stanley the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Uh... Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. Um. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Sounds like a win-win. Oh, it's the infinite hole! Oh, I lied. Oh, I, I, yeah, I lied. Mm. Oh. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the Bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the Bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the Bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a Bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried <gasps> the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Huh? Oh! Huh? Huh? It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. What, it's what? true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a My glorious bucket. bucket to behold. My bucket! The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You were standing much at the pre... Oh my god, how do you say this? Pre precipice. Pre... Pre... Precipice. Pre precipice. I can't read. Um... What is this? 
Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley <gasps> to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever what be the? in his <laughs> life? Oh my god, is this... <laughs> this is... <laughs> what is going on? No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The, the hanging bucket, okay. Oh. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will you, you right and I? this terrible wrong. You, you, what? Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Let him Don't what now? Don't the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. We do what? The bucket shall take its place as ruler. As what? Leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision of the... What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do now? <laughs> My brain can't Someone handle was this. was following Stanley. He was sure of it. He if was he what? checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Someone's Stanley what? embraced the bucket. Someone's following me? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. A large room, lots of boxes. Some are both red and blue. What does red and blue mean? Where is the red and blue thing? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication Four, eight, of any human life. Five, Four. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down what, into what an was the password again? Device. Two, Did eight, the four, five. Guiding light pierce the duck, but Stanley oh. guessed the correct code by sheer oh, wow. luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? This is it. This is the ending. This is the one. This is the one. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large yep. door that read Mind Control Facility. Yep. Oh, hey. The lights the? rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Uh-huh. Oh, whoa. What is this? Eh? Oh. Oh. The monitors Ooh. jumped to life, and Stanley whoa. nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring Fired. that everything would be what fine. What did they do? 427? Am I still here? Oh, I am there. Hey, that's my office, and it's empty. Whoa. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? <gasps> Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to you do? You wouldn't what dare. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! Where am I going? <laughs> he screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire My world. one friend in the entire world. Point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Uh-huh. I see. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. 
two best friends, Stanley in the bucket, up against the world. Best they friends, They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Uh-huh. Console disabled? Can I go up these stairs? Oh, it's so dark. I cannot see a thing. I wonder what that is. That looks important. Ooh, can I go down there? Hold up. This. Oh yeah, I can go down. What is this? It's nothing. Okay. Where's the figly? I need the figly. System power. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the Bucket knew it was their obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah. But at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed oh. the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. <gasps> Had this been the Bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? <gasps> Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in Not disgust, the bucket! When suddenly, an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Uh, um... <gasps> Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another. And then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. Uh -huh. The mind controls were only Penguins. a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. I'm very confused. If you are watching this on the Morant channel, I hope you are just as confused as I am because what the heck did I just play? I can say that was a very entertaining game nonetheless. <laughs> you know, I don't know if we ever really got to the conclusion. I'm sure there are a lot of different options we still could have gone through, but listen, it's been two and a half hours. My brain is fried. I've been listening to this guy talk about a bucket for like the last hour and a half, okay? I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I don't want any more of this. Oh my God. Well, the Stanley Parable, um, as always, still does tell a very unique story of uh, choices and decisions and how important they are uh, to the outcome of your life. And I think this game still, you know, keeps that core message in it as well as adds on some, some new content, I guess. <laughs> and it's honestly, more of like an Easter egg to players who have already played the first Stanley Parable, which I think is really cool. Yeah, it was entertaining and it kept us uh, kept us on the edge of our seats. I can't lie, I had no idea what was gonna happen most of the time, and yeah, you probably didn't either, but it was fun. It was definitely fun. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the uploads on this channel so far, and if you guys want me to play anything in the future, uh, perhaps you want to see any games uh, uploaded here, you know, just be sure to let me know down in the comments uh, what you want to watch me play. Uh, other than that, take care, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next upload. Subscribe to Jim. Peace.